What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house. So a few weeks back or whoever, I don't know the time frame, I can't keep up with stuff. I said I was going to do a video discussion on about each of the main cast and who they are and where they might end up by the end of the series. Today I am doing Remy's video and as I said I have guests. My special guest today is my is my homie of mine we met recently. He's very cool. The one and the only Thai Animations. Three, What's two, going one. on, everybody? Ty and Mason three twenty one here, and I'm here with Fox doing his rain video. Thanks yes. for having me, bro. I had to get I had to get uh you on here because I know Remy is your girl. You already know Remy's best girl. Yeah, exactly. So, so like I said, this this is about who she is. Because someone asked me, uh, actually, it's last week actually, someone asked me, do I think uh Remy is a uh, hypocritical? Uh, I gave my answer on that. I'll give it again. But what do you think about that? Well, honestly, I don't think so, because if you actually really think about it, she's trying to help most of the low tiers and have everybody feel as, you know, equal. So she wouldn't really be a hypocrite. But I see where everybody else is coming from with it, though. Yeah. Um, I said she kind of was, because my thing is, like, she does help. But also, it's like, if she sees someone getting, like, if she sees, like, a low tier getting picked on by a mid tier or whatever, she doesn't necessarily go out of her way to stop it unless it's bothering her <laughs> and i i mean yeah but you gotta think about it sometime though like she can't always just jump in because you know there might be another problem around the corner just waiting for her so True. you know and um you know and I, I feel like it's also part of like a reputation thing even though she probably doesn't care about it too much she still has to uphold it <laughs> you know what i'm saying well, I mean, I mean, yeah, but you gotta remember, Seraphina did give her the queen title, because I mean, not the queen title. Um, yeah, she gave Seraphina like the queen title for like the turf war, so she didn't want to take part in it because of her brother's death. But you know, yeah, it but, happens. Yeah, so I'm, so as far as like as far as like her position as queen, we know she's powerful, but do you? Th yeah. Do you, do you feel like, like she's as powerful as she should be? Well, yeah. Like I think she should be like a probably like a little bit more stronger in my opinion, because you can like really do anything with her ability. Yeah. Like. Ooh, um. No one should like as far as like I, speed is concerned alone. No one should be able to touch her at this point, really, except for yeah. Seraphina when she had her powers. <laughs> yeah. But um, I feel like I feel like she, I, I, last I checked, I think her power level was like a five point four. I feel like she should at least be like at least a six point oh flat. <laughs> mm, yeah, her her ability level is five point four. I think she should be she should be somewhere around a six because remember she went against Arlo in the prologue and we saw how that ended. Yeah, she got the cake, so she should be somewhere along like the level six area mm -hmm. but i also feel like she doesn't train like i feel like she you know she works out maybe like normal but i don't think she trains as hard as like you know someone like blake does or john especially yeah, john we know john trains every day <laughs> i i i would be genuinely surprised if his level is something absurd yeah so i mean but uh like, well, rip but, so where do you think Remy's gonna end up? Like before, like obviously we don't know how the series is gonna end, anything like that, or anytime soon. But where do you? How do you think Remy's gonna be as a character before everything is said and done? I honestly think that she will fulfill her brother's vision, and like looking into the future, she might probably lose school, like make everything equal, probably alongside like John Serafina, like. Everybody will probably realize that this hierarchy is like mm -hmm. corrupt. So I think she probably will continue to be the queen of school. That's how I see it. But she probably will continue her um thing as a vigilante. Hopefully she doesn't die. Speaking across. But if Vulcan yeah. got anything to say about it. 
Oh my god. But you can't lie. If Aizen and Blake weren't there, she'd be dead right now. <laughs> You're not lying, but still. <laughs> she had ample chance to run, but that stubborn streak, it pretty much signed her well, death she, warrant. Well, she's headstrong, though. You gotta think about that. She She's stubborn. She wanna get her get her um what's it called through like you know her point across or whatever yeah <laughs> so so obviously with her being stubborn we know this I, I'm, I already did a video about how the fight between her and John will probably go when when her and John finally you know step up to the plate and box it out how do you think that fight is gonna go down I, I honestly don't think it's gonna go down in all honesty because you know, this is very much talking about. She ain't just gonna go ahead and just go and fight. She would like try to converse her way through something. Mm, true. But if they were to actually fight, I say it would be something along the lines of X Ray versus Joker, if anything. Yeah. Because <laughs> the setup is gonna be good for it, in my opinion. Yeah. So. At, so y'all, if y'all wondering, uh, anything that's happened in the fast past, we don't know. So as of heard this recording uh chapter 147 is the only one that we can watch that we can read on the website i think right now yeah it's 147 yeah so anything past that you know if something if character development happens or whatever we obviously we don't know about it but i'm just putting that out there so y'all know because <laughs> you know how you know you know how people are you you know me i love character development so i need I it I, I crave it i probably, crave it so much i desire it too much <laughs> Like, I you think, saw how I'm sorry. No, I was like, I feel like before the series is up, it, Remy will be not a decent person. I feel like she'll be way more kinder than she is, and she might end up losing a limb or two. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second, there. <laughs> We're not talking about losing limbs now. Look, hold up. Look, look. We, see, and this, gotta... the, and this is why I get in trouble with people, and it's hilarious to me because I I noticed a trend in the community. Nobody wants this story to end on like a dark note. Like I don't necessarily want everyone to die, but I feel like there needs to be consequences for the stuff that is going down. <laughs> I mean, I do agree with you. Is honestly, in any character should like take the fall. It probably should be Arlo, but we have different reasons for that. But. Remy, I don't think so, because she can do, like, better for a world, in my opinion. She can, but you gotta also remember, she provoked an evil organization, and you're telling me she's gonna come out unscathed? <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> like, she ain't gotta die, after, like, but I feel of, like... Most of the like, cast, so, you know. Yeah, she ain't gotta die, but, you know, if, like, if she loses a hand or something, I'll be, I'm okay with it, I'm cool. But I don't. But oh, then again, I don't know. So I don't know how dark Urachan wants to take this. Actually, has this series gotten dark in general? Eh, it has, but it's not as dark as it could be. All right. And I and I know people. People have told me they're like, but these are high schoolers, and I'm like, that's not an excuse for anything. <laughs> they're. Have y'all not seen some of these different anime? Actually, it's not um, even that. I'm like, have you not been through high school? You're, well, some of y'all might be going through high school, but Ty, me and you are way past high school. High school yeah. is kind of messed up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, junior years would work. Exactly. <laughs> like, some people will tell you some of their darkest memories are when they were in high school. <laughs> that. So, I, I'm just saying. Just I, Like I said, they don't all have to die, but I would be remiss if there weren't like actual real consequences, maybe a death here or two. Like I, I think a shocking. Just don't death give us a comic got killed. Just don't give us that. Uh, that hey. that was horrible. It's it's too soon. I'm still not over my my, my purple hair girl shell. Shell was my was my girl. I totally agree with you. May she rest in peace. Rip. <laughs> but. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a video with all of y'all about who do you think would I, I don't even want to do like normal deaths. I want to think who do you think would die that would be un, that would be a shock like Darren or someone the doctor. If Darren died, I'd be shocked. I, I it's possible honestly because like uh, if anything, if Next Gen is a part of Ember, and Next Gen is like a rival company to like set aside, then you know Layla works to set aside. So connection. 
so it could be a possibility it might happen. Exactly. And she, you know, she and she did offer the olive branch, like, hey, you know, you can come work for us if you want. And I thought he was gonna take it. <laughs> I thought he would too, but you know, <laughs> he's a softie. But... He's a teddy bear. <laughs> He loves those kids as much as he hates them. Especially John. <laughs> Man, it's because John's in there almost like every day. Well, actually, every, actually, you know what? He probably sees a lot of the same faces every day, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You would think he'd be cooler with like the low tears and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure they get beat on like a daily basis. You know? I'll, I'll just say that for another video. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll have you in for that one. Yeah. <laughs> so... So back to back to remember we got off, back off track. So, when, so what were your what what are your thoughts on Remy like right now? For all the information that we know of her, like how do you feel about her? Besides the fact that I know that she's your girl, take an unbiased approach with this as best you can. Uh, okay, unbiased. I got you. So, with with everything that's going on right now, like with how she's taking everything and going throughout the story. I mean, she's a good character. I feel like she's a little bit underdeveloped, but overall, a good character. Like with everything that's going on, like the vigilante stuff, like taking the brother's death, like confront confronting John sometime soon with their plan of theirs. Like she's a good character, a little bit sneaky, but she's a good character. Yeah, I feel opinion. like. I feel like she has she's definitely she's definitely got a good heart. There's there's no denying that. Now, yeah. and also I chalked the in some of the stuff that she's been messed up about like if she's ever picked on like a low tier or anything like that. I just chalked it up to society and the fact that like I said, these are high school these are kids. They're they're high school. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not really expecting too much grown up like things from them, but when it happens, it's a nice it's a nice delight for me. Yeah, you gotta realize, like, most of them are second year. Like, the only third year is, like, Arlo and possibly Cecile, but anybody else is just yeah, I think second Ce year, so. I think Cecile and Arlo are the same grade, so they're both on their way out the door next year. Yeah. Oh, so this is another quick tangent. Do you do you think Unordinary is gonna go past high school? Like, do you think it's gonna cut to them in the real world, like, after school, or do you think it's just gonna end with them, like... The the war is over. We can go back to our normal high school lives and blah da 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 da. Oh, definitely not. Because if anything, they're probably gonna go against the society. Like I I seen this setup before. Like mm -hmm. it only starts with high school, but continuing on, it's just gonna go to bigger and better things. Yeah. That that is. That's gonna be a weird day when Urachan gives out the puts out like y'all. It's. It's either almost over or this is the last chapter. It's going to be a weird day. <laughs> if anything, there's going to be like an epilogue or like some type of side story. I hope she ends it on a high note. That's what I want. I hope she ends it on. I hope she knows. I hope she's like, this is the high point. We're going to end it and we're going to end on a good note and out. And she starts something else or whatever. Or, or it could be just like the beginning of the story. The main character dies. It yeah. Just, could be anything, honestly. The one, do you if say we're still on this tangent, guys? But say that say when Unordinary ends, do you want a sequel? Cause I don't. It depends on how it ends, honestly. If it if it ends on like a cliffhanger, then yes, I'm gonna want a sequel. But if loose ends are tied up and things are covered and everything's explained, then yeah, I'll be fine with it. I won't really be too mad about it. Yeah, cause my. My whole thing with any story, video games, anime, TV, is like, what, whatever you start out with, I want you to end it with that and do my characters respectfully. Whether they die, whether they go live off happily off in the sunset somewhere, I just want, I want the conclusion to be respectful to all the characters that we have grown to get attached to. Whether I love them or hate them, their death or their ending needs to be, needs to match who they are. That's how I feel. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. Because nobody wants to see this character who's known for killing people, then all of a sudden, out the blue, he just decides, I'm going to save everybody. Like, hold up, wait a minute now. Like, last I check, you hate people. <laughs> I hate that. The, I hate that, and the one thing I hate the most in any storytelling 
of any shape, form, or fashion. It's like all this stuff happens, and then the character wakes up, and it was a dream. That will piss me off to no end. <laughs> Ooh, um, okay. I hate that. I, gotta, I hate I gotta it. I think no knows that. Like, I remember... Tangent still, guys. We're probably about to wrap this up, but I remember when my fiance and me went to go see the last Twilight movie. She loves it. I don't. Oh but lord! All the fighting went down and all that, and I was like, "Yeah!" And then it cut back, and it was just a vision. I about threw my popcorn at the screen. I was like, "I want I, my I, money back." I, I was, I was mad too, honestly. I was like, "I want my money back. This is a waste of my time." <laughs> <laughs> It still makes me mad to this day. <laughs> and only because... Oh, that's funny. And because, like, recently they were showing a whole... Ma- they showed every Twilight movie on TV, like, two days ago. Every oh, every Twilight movie in order, you can watch it. It didn't end until, like, 12 in the morning. I was like, who 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 sits there and watch that? But, but yeah, so... But, guys, we're going to wrap this up because me and Ty can go on about this, like, literally, like, all all day. And... I don't want to talk y'all's think, head off and listen to the live stream. I think that's like two hours worth of two days worth of um content we can talk about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it's it mostly just speculative stuff. That's what I like to do. I like to speculate, you know. But same here. But you know, Ty, I I really appreciate you coming out for this video. Um, I I'll definitely have you on for more, obviously. But uh, tell the folks where they can find you at. Well, my biggest thing is Ty and Mason's 321 YouTube channel where I post mostly my original content and or an ordinary content. And then you but just you dropped your just... book? Hmm? Then you just dropped your uh your webcomic? Uh webcomic, uh I stated this in another video, but that's gonna be on hold for right now since I'm working on a light novel for it. Which y'all guys should totally check out. Yeah, I'll have a link sent to you if I submit it. So yeah, yeah, send send me the link. I'll put it in the description. All right. But you know, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. With all that being said, do the stuff that I normally tell you to do: like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, go follow my boy Ty and Steph and Digi and me. And with all that being said, it's your boy Fox. Out.